Okay, uh, we are going to study um, some, some part of differentiation, um, especially um, for computer programmers. So um, mathematic, mathematical descriptions are um, sometimes difficult for many people, but um, well, I'm going to try to use code for um, programmers to understand in an easier way. Okay, so I'm just think about a function. We are very familiar with function. If you are a programmer, then your job is almost, well, making many functions. They work together for some your objectives. Okay, so um, this is a function. And, well, the function received an input. And sometimes, well, a function can receive multiple inputs, many inputs. And this function outputs something, well, as a result. So um, here is a prototype of the function. So, um, this is a simple get f function. Well, it, it returns a float number um, after calculating some number, a number um, based on the input value x. So in this case, the input is this number x. and it returns a number output here, the float number, and the return number is a times x plus b. In this case, well, in this example, a is 0 0.5 and b is 0 0.1. So if the input number x is, zero, is equal to 0, then the return number is simply b, 0 0.1. And if the, the input number x is number 1, then, well, the return number um, is um, 0 0.6, it's a simple algebra. So um, actually this is, a, this is an equation of a line. So we can draw this line. Well, so this is the x, this is the um, y, um, f, x axis. So um, um, when input is 0, then it's number um, 0 0.1. It returns 0 0.1 and x is 1, then the number it returns this getter function returns number um, 0 0.6 here. So basically, this is a, um, a function of a line. Okay, so um, we use differentiation um, to uh, when we when we want to know how much does f x change when we change x. So let's think about this situation. So we can calculate fx at x, and and well, we can we can calculate f x f, f, function f um, of different number. So in this case, let's think about x plus delta x instead of other number x one, x o, x two, or well, some other number, um, but we introduce the concept delta y. D delta y is the change in x. So we want to know, uh, we, we want to know how much does this delta x, the change in x, uh, makes um, f changes. So we want to know it. Okay, so let's think about this situation. So um, we consider x number 1. x is equal to, consider the case when um, x is number equal to number 1. And let's, one more time, think about um, x is 1.1. .1. Actually, we can consider it um, 1 plus 0 0.1. So yeah, this is 1.1. .1 but we can also um, consider it as uh, 1 plus 0 0.1 so that we can see the change between 1 is, in this case, well, after some calculation, f1 is 0 0.6, f1 is 0 0.6, and, well, f1.1 is 0 0.65. So the change um, in x by 0 0.1 made a change in fx by 0 0.05. Okay, 
So the difference between this number, these numbers are 0 0.05 0, 0, 0, and the change in these numbers is 0 0.1. So change in this part here, uh, major change here. So now we can um, calculate the rate of the change, rate of the change instead of the change. So in this case, we directly computed the change 0 .0 0 .0 0 0.05. In this case, we can um, calculate the rate of change, rate of change. So, um, so we can do it in here. So, um, so 1, 0 0.6, 1, fx is 0 0.6, and 1.1, 1 1.1 .1, 1 .1 gives you 0 0.65, 0 0.65. So, difference is 0 0.05, and here the difference in x is 0 0.6. So, the rate of change is 0 0.5 in this case. In this case. And this number is equal to, um, just let's go back, equal to this number, because this is the equation of the line, of a line. So this is a very simple case. OK, so um, this is the concept of differentiation. Um, so we want to, well, in, in most cases, we want to calculate, calculate the rate change of fx, fx with respect to x, so that we can um, expect the change in this function when we change change um, the input number. So let me delta x go to zero, um, delta y over delta x, and this part is exactly um, same as this part, and this one is can be numerically determined by this process. Yes. So um, analytic um, differentiation requires that tile x to be very small number, actually, yeah, infinitely small number. But um, in numerical differentiation, we use finitely, well, finite number, finitely small number. Um, so it's a difference. Okay, so um, let's see the meaning of differentiation. Well, this number. So um, in deep learning, well, deep learning, learning, deep learning community um, uses the term gradient in everywhere. Well, they they always consider gradient um, of the error function or something. So this is it. So um. um if df dx, df over dx is um, larger than zero, then it means that the change in x increases fx. In the other cases, um, if df over dx is smaller than zero, it's, if it's a negative number, then it means that the increase in x decreases um, f. And it also means that, oh well, and this df dx is equal to zero, then the change in x does not change f. It's the meaning of the um, meaning of this. Okay, so um, there are two ways to obtain derivatives. Der derivatives. So, um, so um, let's consider a simple function here, a x to the n. So um, the, well, one way is to um, obtain analytical differentiation. So um, we did it, we have done it by, by hand um, with pencils. So um, in this case, df over dx, dx is a n x n um, minus one. Yeah. And well, in most cases, you can find the derivatives from Googling, well, table of derivatives, or well, you can use something. And there's one more way. When analytical, analytical differentiation is very difficult, well, if you are 
considering very um, complicated functions like deep neural network, then well, it will be better to rely on numerical differentiation. So, so numerical differentiation is simpler. It's very simple to implement. So um, this is this is the first order accurate um, numerical differentiation. Um, the function f with respect to um, the change in x. So in this case, you can simply calculate fx um, with respect to x and x plus delta x. And in this case, here is delta x here. So um, you can implement and calculate, uh, obtain this number in an easy way with your computer. And this is the first order of accurate um, numerical differentiation and well I would like to note that there exists much more accurate well numerical differ differentiation methods for um, the other purposes but well well in most cases we use first order we, we well in most in most cases we use well smaller delta x with um, first order um, numerical methods or we can simply repair it um, to obtain more accuracy. So it depends on the cases. So um, here is the table of derivatives, um, an example of table, table of derivatives of activation functions. So um, I talked about um, activation functions last lecture. And well, we used the identity activation function for example, so um, in this case, the, the equation looks like this, and the equation is fx is x. So f prime, well, df over dx is equal to 1 in this case. So, And well, in so, some cases, we use binary step exchange function, and you can find derivative for um, this function and logistic function, um, also known as soft step here. And you can simply um, find this table to, to obtain um, the derivative of this activation function. So, and there are more. So in this case, f prime, f prime, f prime of x means df dx. Okay. So it's very simple. Um, there is a table, and you can simply follow the table to implement um, the de derivative of this function. And well, in deep learning, well, you may call it the gradient, gradient, gradient of um, fx with, res with, with respect to um, x. So gradient is in one-dimensional cases. So um, you can simply implement get identity act activation function well, in this way, so simply return x. And you can also implement get grad identity function in this way. So you, may sim you, may s you can simply return um, number 1 because your table says the derivative of x f prime x um, of identity function is number 1. So you can just follow the instruction of the table. And you can also, well, sigmoid is one more, actually sigmoid, sigmoid is one of the popular activation function um, used for uh, deep neural network. And it means that you would like to, well, implement the backpropagation of the neural network which uses sigmoid activation functions. And then it also means that you need to um, calculate the, the gradient of sigmoid functions, and you can you can use the table one more time. So um, sigmoid function is f x one over one plus exponent e to the minus x. So it's a little bit complicated, but you can implement in an easier way like this: one zero point one f over well divided by 1f plus exp, exp means this e, exponential function, exp minus x. So this is, well, you can just write down the code to follow the instruction of the table. And in this case, you can find the 
f prime um, um, f prime is defined defined by f x. So it includes f x. So in this case, well, you can use get sigmoid function you just defined here. You can use it again to to calculate it. So f is get sigmoid x and return, uh, well, f 1 minus f this way. So f x 1 minus f x. So it's very straightforward to implement. So to imp okay. And you can do the same thing for rel function. Rel function is very efficient um, activation function for deep neural network. It finds a way to fit um, um, the desired solution um, locally by using by clamping the negative part to be zero here. So it cuts the negative part, part and well use max number between the identity function and um, number zero in negative part. So um, x f f x is defined um, to be zero for um, negative x and x for otherwise here, right? And well, the gradient gradient of rel function is defined um, as to be in number zero for um, negative input and one for otherwise. So you can simply uh, follow the instruction um, to implement it. So get rel function can be implemented by, well, in an easy way. So, um, and you can also follow the same instruction here. So in this case, the gradient, uh, well, it uses the same code except for the change in um, this part. So number one is used instead of number x for gradient calculation. Okay. <coughs> 